Today I want to show you how to install a graph application in our case and the graph gallery and how to use it. Uh, to install a graph app you just go to the sidebar uh, graph applications which lists the existing graph apps that you have installed and allows you to new, install new graph apps by just pasting the installation URL into this um, text field and clicking install which you're gonna do. We only also trust the graph app uh, because uh, we have looked at the code and it's an open source app. So we can check that. And uh, so it's installed. Now we see Graph Gallery 105 here. And we can add it to our project. So we can just say, okay, add this graph app here to my project. And uh, then we can actually start uh, the graph app. And it will show us um, graph examples from a lot of different uh, places. So they are featured ones. Uh, but we can also see them by, by industry or by use case here or search even for authors or uh, topics. So um, to, to view these graph apps, you want to launch them in, inside of a graph database. So currently player's browser guide is disabled because we don't have a graph database running, uh, but I created an empty graph database here, um, which has no data in it. So we're just gonna quickly start it and then uh, the graph gallery after it's running the graph gallery shows also that it's connected to a running graph database and you see that the player's browser guide um, buttons are enabled so we want to look at chemicals and cosmetics uh, as a browser guide so we click on this and this opens a uh, neo browser as an with this uh, guide url and now we can uh, start the guide and so this guide is about use of chemicals in cosmetics and uh, uh, makeup and, and products and brands that have this uh, data. So for importing the data, we can just, um, if we have the multi-line statement editor uh, enabled, we can just run these import statements. Uh, so first we create uh, indexes and constraints for this uh, data set. And then secondly, we import the data here in, in, into our database. And uh, now that it's done, we can look at the uh, guide uh, for discussing the uh, data model. Uh, so companies, products, brands, and chemicals that are contained in these products in which category they are in. And we can, for instance, run uh, different queries on top of this database to see certain um, certain aspects here. So for instance, this is a lipstick from a certain brand which be, uh, has certain ingredients and here's the, um, here's the brand. And uh, what's interesting is uh, this data set also contains uh, reported uh, products for uh, by, by health safety violations and, and similar things. So you see different brands have different counts of reports and um, now it investigates kind of why is uh, Revlon so much in here and does it still sell these products that have been reported uh, yes it does and you can actually also look at the um, data here in tabular form so you see also kind of how much uh, each product company has still sold then it also looks at the uh, recency of the reports uh, so you see many of these are from 2009 so quite uh, old and uh, they are still sold Right, so these products are still sold. The chemical in question here for Revlon is uh, titanium di dioxide, which is just whitening powder. And so there seems to be a discussion in California if it's really uh, public health uh, problematic or not. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how to uh, use and run uh, a graph application like our new uh, graph gallery. And that's about it. Thank you.